Well, good morning, church family. I hope you're having a great morning. Welcome to uh, the Daily Dose for Friday, July 31st. I wanted to uh, share with you just a couple verses of scripture and then talk a little bit about that today. In the book of James, James chapter 1, verses uh, 2 through 4, it says this, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete and needing nothing. I was a football coach uh, in Ohio before we moved here. Uh, it was a great source of joy for me. I, I enjoyed it, and especially as you get to coach over several years, you watch um, watch uh, the, the development of the players. And you know, it's interesting when you when you look at player development and the things you do as a good coach. Uh, for example, when uh, you're on the practice field, you you want to practice like you play. So it's you practice full speed. Full speed. You know, you, you wanna you wanna execute like you're gonna execute the day you do it, not at half speed. And you're training muscle memory and you're training muscles and things like that. And at different ages, different muscles develop. You've got to be aware of that as well. And you know, if uh, if a player wasn't getting low enough when they were trying to block as a good coach. I put them on the sled and made sure that they continued to hit that sled low enough time and time again until the muscle memory was in it and they were able to repeatedly hit low. Same thing with catching the ball. If a player kept dropping the ball, you kept passing the ball in practice to that player uh, repeatedly until they didn't drop it, until they were able to master that skill and over overcome that inability. And you know, our great coach, God, does the same thing with us. He brings us to points to deal with in our life, such as our lust, such as our mouth, uh, different things that we might struggle with in our Christian walk that aren't what they need to be. They need to be better. And in order to be better, we're gonna be presented with opportunities to build our endurance, to get better, at those things, to overcome those things, to be able to be confronted with lust and overcome it, to be able to uh, be confronted with an opportunity to say something with our mouth that we ought not and to overcome it by not doing it. It's an opportunity for our endurance. And that's what James tells us here in the very beginning of the book, that it's a chance to grow and fully develop. So in your time today, think about the things you struggle with. Um, we don't share that too often, do we? Because we're obviously afraid of what people think. We're, we don't want to be seen as sinful, but we're all sinful. We all have something we're dealing with. So dear brother and sister, whatever it is that you're dealing with today, think about that and keep it in mind over the weekend because somewhere along the way, not very long after listening to this recording, you're going to be confronted with an opportunity to overcome. My hope for you is that you do, but also know if you don't, you're going to keep getting presented with an opportunity to endure, to overcome. We are overcomers. We have the great King and our Lord Jesus at our disposal. They're available to us if we ask for the help, if we confess the opportunity and we seek the strength through them, we are indeed more than overcomers. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day.